Paramedics and first responders are heading the ice today for the annual Niagara Paramedics Association Charity Hockey Tournament, playing alongside former NHL players in an effort to support concussion awareness. Uh, it's for paramedic police and fire departments kind of all across Ontario. We've got one team from Buffalo. Uh, and what we're raising money for is uh, Shoot for a Cure, which is a fundraising campaign for uh, Stop Concussions and the Canadian Spinal Research Organization. So collectively, we try to uh, promote uh, brain injury awareness and spinal cord injury awareness, uh, mainly in sport. And uh, yeah, that's what we're all about today. How has the event uh, evolved over the last few years? It's changed drastically. We started with seven teams in our first year, went up to 15 the next year, and it's just grown every year from there. We've got uh, 29 teams this year, like I said, from all across Ontario, one from Buffalo. Uh, the fundraising has exploded now that we're starting to work with Shoot for a Cure for the last couple of years. Uh, and so we're excited where we were, where we've, uh, where we've come, and where we're, we're going to go. So. And I understand there's an NHL alumni game coming up later today. Could you tell us a little bit about what that's going to look like? Absolutely, yeah. 12.30 today, uh, we've got five NHL alumni. I've got uh, Dennis Marut, Grant Ledyard, uh, Zenon Kanopka, Rafi Torres, and Wayne Primo, all coming who are NHL alumni. They play in a game with our top fundraisers from the tournament. So uh, it just gives us a chance to give back to our fundraisers a little bit and help us promote our events a little bit more. This is one of our five events that we do each year. We do one in Australia and New Zealand. We do one in England. And when we go to the players and explain to them that what we're doing, we, we get a lot of hands up. Uh, obviously, coming to Niagara Falls isn't a bad place to be to either. But these players understand that uh, they're, they're every shift could be a shift that uh, they end up with one of these injuries. So, And they've got a lot of friends and, and maybe family members that are dealing with it. So it's been really easy. They all donate their time. They all give us the opportunity to, to raise money through these type of events. And we've just been so lucky that former players from the National Hockey League, players from the AHL, East Coast League, have all stepped up and said, listen, how do we give back? And this is the way they can. They can come and participate. And then all these uh, wannabe hockey players like myself have an opportunity to come out and play with, the, with them and against them and have a lot of fun while we're doing it and raising money. Rafi, could you tell us a little bit about your decision to uh, come out and support this event today? Absolutely. Well, uh, as uh, being part of the NHL alumni, we get asked to do a lot of charities uh, of, the, of this sort. Uh, and any chance I get a chance to get out and, uh, and you know hang out with guys from the community and uh, and give back my, my time, and, and that's really what it's all about at this point in my life. You know, just uh, you know giving back and, uh, and meet new people and supporting charities and stuff. In terms of the main cause of today's event, uh, supporting concussion awareness, why is that something that's important to not only yourself but other uh, players in the NHL? Well, first and foremost, I have a lot of friends that uh, you know have suffered from from severe concussions, and, and still too to this day, uh, some of them are not with us anymore. But uh, so it is something that we need to really be aware of uh, to raise awareness for, and uh, you know to, to really get the word out there because there is some, there is a lot of people struggling out there uh, that need help and uh, that need support. How has the uh, fundraising been going so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, last year we raised twenty thousand dollars at this event. We're uh, we're pretty hopeful we're gonna we're gonna break that barrier again this year. So, but what are your hopes for the uh, event in the years to come? You know what? Just to grow, to keep getting bigger, more teams. Um, the biggest thing that we want to do is create awareness for for uh, Shoot for a Cure and for their fundraisers that they uh, that they operate under. So, um, you know, more money, more awareness for, for brain injury awareness, for spinal cord injury awareness, uh, and that would be our big goal. With 29 teams competing in this year's tournament, it's shaped up to be the most successful one yet. From Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.